RC battery chargers come in a whole variety of sizes, weights, and power ratings. Some of them take up a whole lot of space and some of them don't. So today we're gonna talk about some of the more recently released mini chargers that have come out that are really small and have some really big advantages. Before we bring out our first battery charger, keep in mind that these mini chargers, they're DC battery chargers, so they will require a power supply, kind of like this Motive 720 watt power supply. But there's some really big advantages to using a power supply and a charger in a two unit system. Now for one, this Motive power supply is way more powerful than the power supplies that would be included inside of a standalone AC-DC battery charger. And at about $80, it's an investment for the future. But having a power supply like this really helps you tailor pick the charger that best suits your application and needs um, and power rating. There's some RC helicopter setups out there that use 6S up to 12S LiPo battery power and eight scale electric racers, they use four cell batteries. And now you've got the basher market, which is coming out with 4S, 6S, and 8S bashers that are really powerful. So that's why having a power supply and an appropriate charger to match can really help speed up the charge times on those really big LiPo batteries versus some standalone AC DC battery charger. Charger. Another big advantage in having a power supply and a battery charger two unit setup is if one fails or dies, you can always just replace that particular unit. Say in an AC DC charger, if the charger dies, you have to buy a brand new charger even if the internal power supply in that unit works fine. Another big advantage is that the newly released mini DC chargers are capable of huge power outputs. Some of them are capable of charging a 6S LiPo battery in like 30 minutes, which can be really beneficial for you if you're charging multiple 6S packs. And aside from those huge power outputs, the chargers are getting smaller and smaller, taking up an even smaller footprint on your workbench or maybe at the track where space is very limited. So with that said, the very first battery charger we're gonna look at is this ISDT T6 Lite. Now the T6 Lite can charge up to 6S LiPos with LIHV support and it has an output up to 25 amps and 600 watts. Now the whole unit is only about five by four inches and about two and a half inches thick with a weight that's a little over 10 ounces. ISDT also has the Q6 Pro that is less expensive, but the power output is less at about 14 amps and 300 watts. Now, if you wanna look at the upper end for ISDT, they have the T8 Compact, which is another mini charger, but it puts up to 30 amps, 1000 watts, and has 8S LiPo support. The next mini charger on our list is the Spectrum S1200. This is a charger we've made a video on in the past, but the S1200 can charge up to 6S LiPos, offers up to eight amps, and 200 watts with LIHV compatibility. The S1200 features the least amount of power in our lineup here, but it's also the least expensive and one of the smallest, making it great for many applications and uses. The charger comes in at only three by three inches with a 1.3 inch thickness and a 4.2 ounce weight. For dual channel needs in the mini charger category, Spectrum also has this, S2100. Now this charger features 100 watts per channel up to 12 amps. Comparing it to the S1200, it's a little bigger, it's a little heavier, and it costs a bit more. Here it is compared to the ISDT T6. The next charger on our list is the iCharger X6 from Junsi. Now this impressive little charger can output up to 30 amps, up to 800 watts of power, all in a small three and a half by two and a half inch size with a one and a half inch thickness. The weight comes in at about six ounces. For size to power, the X6 is king in DC chargers. Now for even more power than the X6, Junsi also offers the X8 that bumps power up to a thousand watts for the most demanding needs. Here's the Junsi X6 compared to the Spectrum S2100 and the ISDT T6.
And here's the chargers compared to the motive power supply that's eight and a half inches long, not including the handle here. This is a fake credit card, but the actual size of a real credit card. Depending on your needs, the batteries you'll be charging and how fast you need them charged, there's really a charger solution out there for everyone. If you guys need any help or assistance picking a charger for your needs, you can always contact us here at A-Main Hobbies or you can leave us a question or a comment down below. And if you guys want any more information on the chargers that we talked about in this video, we'll have some links down below for you as well. I'm Brett from A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.